Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will find reaction forces on overhanging beam. So we have an overhanging beam. You can see here, we have pin support here at point A. We have roller support at point B. And three forces are acting on the beam. One is 4 kN, 8 kN and 2 kN. The distances are given here, 1 meter, 3 meter, 2 meter and the 3 meter, the overhanging portion. So, how to find reaction forces on this wheel? First of all, as usual, we will set our sign convention. So, sum of the, fo the forces in the x direction, right x direction are positive, y forces in upward are positive, and clockwise moment is positive. Now, we know that there are two reaction forces at point A, one is AY, and one is AX. As this is a pin support so that's why we have two reaction force and we have at by at point b we will have only one reaction force which is by now as there is no x direction force on the beam so we can simply say that sum of the forces in the x direction equal to zero so it means that ax is equal to zero so the reaction force in the horizontal direction on the pin support is zero. Now to find Ay and By, again we have to use other conditions of equilibrium. To find By, we can take moment about point A equal to zero, so we will be able to find By. Now I can write equation sum of moment about point A equal to zero. So what are the forces producing moment about point A? You can see 4 kN, I will write here, 4 kN times 1 meter, it will be producing clockwise, so 4 times 1, plus 8 times 1 plus 3, 4, again clockwise, that's why I have used plus sign, then minus By, because this By will also produce moment about point A, anti-clockwise. So minus by times this total distance from here to here. So 1, 3 and 2. So this is 6 meter. And then we have the last force 2 kN which is acting downwards. So it will be producing clockwise moment about point A. So I can write plus 2 times this total distance from here to here 6 meter plus 3. So 9 meter. This will be equal to 0. Now I can solve this easily to find BY. 4 plus 32 minus 6 BY plus 18 equal to 0. We can say 36 minus 6 BY plus 18 equal to 0. So 36 and 18 I can write 54 minus 6 by equal to 0 or I can simply say by is equal to bring this 54 to on this side it will be negative 54 so negative will cancel with negative and 54 divided by 6 we can get 9 kilonewton so 9 kilonewton is the reaction force at point B and it is acting upward. Why it is acting upward? And initially we have assumed that it is acting upward. Now we are getting positive sign, so it means our assumption was right. Now what is that? We have to find Ay. To find Ay, what we can do? We can take sum of all the forces in the y direction equal to zero. So sum of all the forces in the y direction equal to zero. Now I have to write all the forces acting in the y direction. What are the forces? One is Ay minus 4 minus 8 plus By minus 2 equal to 0. 4, 8 and 2 are minus because it is, they are acting downward. Ay and By are acting upward. That's why they are positive. So Ay minus 4 minus 8 plus by is 9 kilonewton so i will put 9 minus 2 equal to 0 
So a y, if you do this addition, you will get a y is equal to five kilonewton. So a y is five kilonewton, b y is nine kilonewton, and a x is zero. Now, once you finish all the reaction forces and you want to verify your answer, you can. How you can? We know that this beam is a whole that is in equilibrium. So sum of all the forces acting downward must be equal to sum of forces acting upward. So what are the forces acting downward? 4, 8 and 2. So 4 plus 8, 12 and 2, 14. So 14 kilonewton forces are acting downward, right? So now the upward forces are how much? Ay and By. So Ay is 9, By is 5. So 9 plus 5, 14. So it means this is equal and upward forces are also for, uh, 14, 14 kilonewton. So that's, it means that your answer are right. So this is how we find reaction forces on an overhanging beam and that's it.